Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So if you could remember the last time, I did a tutorial about creating an email signature using Canva. And then, I just put a plain pictures. Or I just typed my social media account, my username. And then, at this time, our tutorial is about creating an email signature again. But the difference is, we're going to put clickable social media icons. So that the receiver of your emails can easily um, visit your social media accounts. They will just click the icons and then it will redirect them right away to your social media accounts. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. First, we're going to our Gmail account. Click the Google Apps icon. It is located at the left side of your profile picture in Gmail. And look for Google Docs. And then click Google Docs. And then once we're already here, let's just click blank. Blank page. So this is the blank page. And then now we're going to insert a table. So click on Insert tab. And then look for Table. And choose 2 by 1. We need to make our left side of the table narrower than the right side. Because this is where we're going to put our picture. In order for us to be able to upload a picture, click inside the table and then insert image. Then click upload from the computer. I already downloaded all the pictures that I'm going to use at this tutorial. So, it's already located on my downloads. This is the picture that I'm going to use. There. And then, after that, I'm going to insert all the pictures of my social media accounts. So I'm going to input Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So we, we need to adjust this, this border, and then adjust the size of the media icons. I'm just going to make my icons a little bit smaller. There. So, in the right side of the table, I'm going to insert all the information that I wanted to share in my email signature. So, it's my name. My designation. My website My cell phone number My email my address and then my Skype ID
there you go and then you can easily change the font style of your text by just highlighting the text that you wanted to make changes so i'm going to try changing the font style of my name so i guess i wanted to make it a little bit bigger so there you go and then the font color here you can change the font color by just clicking the text color if you wanted to put underline you can easily put underline by just crea creating the underline icon and then italic icon if you want to italize your text and then if you wanted to make it bold just click the bold icon the letter b so there so what we're going to do next is remove the border of the table or at least make it invisible because you don't want your email signature to have a border right so click anywhere inside the table and then select it so there you can see the border width so we're going to click zero point so we're done with our design and then after that we're just going to highlight the whole table and then right click and click copy in order for us to be able to put it in our gmail signature we're just going to click this here icon which is the setting and then see all settings so under the general tab let's scroll down and look for the signature so it's there click new so we can attach our new signature so rfm our signature with clickable icons create in this text box we're going to paste the email signature that we created earlier in the google docs so right click and then click paste here are my social media icons so what i wanted to do is whenever my reader click the facebook icon it will redirect them to my facebook account same thing with our instagram linkedin and youtube account so in order for us to be able to do that we need to click the icon and then put a link so i'm going to input instagram slash miss ruth talk shop we will just do the same on the other icon once we're done in our signature don't forget to choose or to select the signature you wanted to use here for new emails and for forward reply emails so I'm going to choose the signature that we created earlier so after that choose or save changes so once we're done we're going to do a test email so I'm going to email myself Click send. So there you go. There is our test mail. So this is our email signature now. As I'm going to click this icon, which is the Instagram, it should redirect us in my Instagram account. There you go. Here's my Instagram account. It's just a new. <laughs> so there you go. This is my Instagram account. And then if I'm going to visit my YouTube, I'm just going to click my icon, the YouTube icon. And then it will redirect us in our YouTube account. There. So that's it guys, our tutorial about creating an email signature with clickable social media icons. So I hope you learned something from this video and hope to see you soon on my next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye! So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and hit the bell button below to get notified on new videos and leave a comment so I can get back to you. Bye!